welcome back. I'm going to introduce our first guest, the beautiful Poonam Dillon, who remains unforgettable since she played the fresh-faced, rosy-cheeked Noori. Yash Chopra discovered her and she worked her way into the people's hearts with her innate sweetness and charm. Besides, she was a good actor. Did you know Poonam is not only an actor, but she's highly academic. She has recently completed an MBA in international business. She was also the brain behind the concept of Vanity Vans, and she established the business and today they have become an indispensable part of our film star's lives. Poonam is actively involved in theatre and she lends her voice and support to several causes, her biggest being the empowerment of the girl child. Hi, Hi. Zareen, how are you? I'm very well. How I'm are you? So happy to see you on my show. Happy to mm. see you too. And you're looking yeah. lovely. Thank you. You are looking super glamorous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, first tell me, all of a sudden I see this lovely, vibrant and very attractive looking you coming in. You've cut, done something to your face. I think you've cut your hair. Yes, I have. Do you ah, like it? I love it. You know, it's everybody so who's... <laughs> people are used to me having long hair ah. and I've always had long ah. hair. Look bhi change karti rehne chahiye, nahi to log bore ho jate hai, na? Wo to sahi bol rahe aap. But at the same time, you've got such a lovely and happy smile that you, when you walk in, you light up, you know, the room, I would say. Thank you. I, I think ah. that's the most important thing. Yes. Jab aap kahi jao, to logon ko khushi ho aapko ah. dekke. And if you have a sullen face, nobody's happy, No, right? I agree with you. <laughs> How is your son? He's, I believe, I... He's getting into films? Haan, my son Anmol is all ready now Haan. to get launched. How lovely. So, uh, mm. I think he's waiting for the right break because mm. he's quite fussy and mm. particular ke jo first break. Hai. And good looking. He, <laughs> with God's grace, touch wood, he's Haan. a charming, Haan. good looking and a good boy, Haan. most important. Yeah. You being in the line for so long, I'm sure you will be his best guide. You know, I feel boys uh, mm. 23, 24 in fact. So they look very young. They no, look but... too young. Uh. And uh, in fact, I had to hold him back. I uh. said, Anmol, aap thoda sa aur mature ho jao. Uh. And now he's very happy that he waited, mm. you know. You're doing so many things. So what's the latest news of Bombay? <laughs> <laughs> Zareen, your uh. house is where all the news happen. Uh, really? Uh, yes, no. your daughters are yeah. so wonderful. But they all house, 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 only in the you house. Know, uh, Zareen, I would like to tell you that uh. and I've always said that about uh. you, that you are, if you're not cooking class or you're not learning cooking, then you have to learn parenting. How to bring up wonderful children. Your children are so good, and I would say they are so good. I think we've had quite a little discussions of yours and praising each other. So before we bore the audiences, no, I think, I think I'm going to ask you to come into the kitchen and help me cook a very nice fish curry. Will you do that? Of course. Huh? fish ah. How lovely. Aap ke liye. Thank you. You know, I've actually kind of turned vegetarian mm. kafi uh, mahino se. Mm. And exception I have kept one that I seafood ka sakti oh, Very good. Because I had recently taken a beautiful holiday to ah. Maldives and Sri Lanka. Ah. And I said, if I don't eat fish and prawns, then... <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go, let's go into the let's kitchen. Go. Please come. <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach you how to make plain white curry. It's delicious because it's all white. Mm -hmm. And uh, you like fish, so I've made it specially for you. So are you going to help me? Of course. And not only help you, I want to learn from you. Great, you? great. So much I want to learn, but cooking is one of the things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's very easy. First, you take four tablespoons of rice. And you've got to heat this in the pan. So here we go. And we just put this a little higher and heat the same. And as this is being heated, we also have with us a whole one coconut grated completely, which we keep and ready to do the next step. So you shall see. You see, coconut milk is really subtle 
and makes a great flavor for gravies. It adds a certain freshness. It also balances extra spiciness. So you will be able to know what is happening now. Okay, huh? so I have a question. Is uh, this an Indian dish or is it a Mughlai dish? No, or actually, frankly speaking, shall I tell you, it's a Parsi dish. Parsi dish, yes. oh, wonderful. I've never seen rice being uh, put in a fish before. Uh, just see, just see to get the gravy thicker. The reason ah. is we are making the gravy thicker. Okay. And this is the rice. I'm going to have this blended with this both of these will go and get blended. Now this pan is already hot, so we have to put the next step. Mm, Zareen, mm. you are going to teach me, right? So, if I do cooking, I will remember you. That will be very, very happy. <laughs> I will be the happiest person. Please okay. come here Achala, and do the same. Haan? Okay. My hands are very little. I don't have much water. How much water do I put? Yes, that much is enough. Okay. And two of two teeth. Always put the lasun in the middle of the pan. This is my formula. Just move it around. Completely. Quickly, quickly. See, I think the tail is a little less. Now we will add jeera. It might splutter. I have put it in a lot of places that in Indian food, the things that are added to the Indian food, they don't only add to the food. ये सेहत के लिए भी होती है सब में बहुत थेरेपेटिक चीजें होती हैं जीरा सेहत के लिए अच्छा है लसुन तो बहुत ही अच्छा है अदरक भी अच्छा है सो दैट इज़ द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ़ इंडियन कुकिंग दैट वी हैव टेस्ट एस वेल एस वी हैव गुड हेल्थ सो यू मस्ट बी अ एक्सेलेंट कुक आल्सो वेल आई � this is the milk that we have brought out from those coconut milk with the rice, the, you know, which we have put it in a blender and this is what has been squeezed. The white color comes, no? And when you blend this afterwards, you must add one cup of water to make it wet and then you can squeeze it easily, all the juice, which is already done. That's what this was. So, Zareen, how long do you stir this for a long time? Well, let me tell you, the secret is the slow cooking. Ah. So that the ingredients blend together and create a delicious whole. Mm. So you see how it's thickening? Wow. Huh? We have to put the salt. Actually, if you make a good dish, you can put it in a little bit or put it in a little bit, then it will go full of water. So we put the salt. And now, you see the tomatoes must be seed in the dish. See how? Oh, wow. This is a typical Parsi curry, you know. And then the vinegar. Now you got to keep stirring okay, when yes. you're doing the vinegar because otherwise it sort of you know breaks up. Okay. Which fish do you use? Which pomfret. Ah. You like pomfret? I love pomfret. In fact, Mumbai ki fried hai pomfret fish, <laughs> and we we enjoy yeah. pomfret. See a the lot. color that's come out. Yeah. Wow. Which made it. And now last. We are going to put the fish. Hmm. I can't wait to mix it have into a bite. it. Put it, sort of cover it with the sauce, you know. Ah, gently, you go break me, Karin. And then you take that. Now you cover it. Let it cook in its own steam. किस चीज के साथ खाते हैं इसको? इसको सादे चावल के साथ खाएं तो it's best, you know. But remember one thing: the vinegar gives the dish a tang. And ensures that the white gravy is not bland. So this gives that little pungent. Mm, you know? Lovely, I can't huh? wait. So we shall remove this, ah. and we shall put the coriander and let it stew a little bit more in its own steam. Wow. Okay, folks, I think the fish curry, white fish curry is totally ready and ready to be put into the dish which is supposed to be served. Only we've got to be very careful that when we open it and put the fish in, we don't break the fish. So it's all got to be a very tender process. Mm. First, we shall take the fish. I'll use two spoons to help me not break the fish. पूरा फ्लेवर अंदर तक चला गया वहाँ से एंड दैट कोकोनट फ्लेवर इस समथिंग आई रियली लाइक नाउ 
Now all the fish pieces have come out and now I'll try to put it all like this itself. And so Poonam, this is the white fish curry. You want to yes. smell it? Wow, this is super. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what you see, ready to be served. And if you missed anything, here's the recap. For white fish curry, in a pan, dry roast four tablespoon of raw rice. Remove it in a bowl. Add the grounded rice paste to 200 ml coconut milk. Mix well and set it aside. Now, heat 3 to 4 tablespoon oil. Add 1 teaspoon ginger paste, 2 teaspoon garlic paste, 2 teaspoon cumin seeds, 2 teaspoon chopped green chilies and fry them. Add the coconut milk and rice paste mixture to the pan and keep stirring till it reaches a thicker consistency. Now add salt to taste, 5 to 6 cherry tomatoes and 2 tablespoon vinegar. Constantly stir the mixture while adding vinegar so that it doesn't curdle. Add 4 fish pieces gently into the pan and let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes with the lid on. Sprinkle freshly chopped coriander and cook it for 2 minutes. Your white fish curry is ready to be served. Our second guest will be joining us soon, so we'll be back, but after a small break. Mm -hmm.